fuck? Hey, Vito, rise and shine. Jesus. <laughs> Marty, stop fucking yelling, will you? My head's killing me. <laughs> Sorry, Joey. Stop calling me fucking Joey. What the hell's wrong with you? Vito, come on down. Jesus Christ. Who the hell was that? Guy's got a voice like Woody fucking Woodpecker. That was Marty. Remember the little kid you slipped down the street from me? I had to pick up the truck here, so he gave me a lift. What's going on with the truck? It's gonna make us some nice cash. Hop in. I'll explain on the way. You drive. Where to? Riverside. All right, Riverside it is. Some night, huh? Yeah, you could say that. Why? You ain't still mad, are you? Nah, burying a stiff. That's the first thing I wanted to do when I got out. Hey, come on. You had fun at the cat house, right? Yeah, yeah, I did. Thank you for oh. that. But, uh, everything between then and now, not so much. All right, all right. Well, listen, today's gonna be a lot better, I promise. I sure as hell hope so. Couple of places and unload these smokes. Then we bring the truck back to Eddie and get our cut of the tape. Piece of cake. Wait a minute. You seem to remember getting thrown in the clink for a piece of cake just like this. Don't worry, I done this before. First stop, Riverside. If you say so. Trust me, you're gonna thank me later.
about now? Now we take care of our customers. These guys here buy in bulk from us. Come with me. Okay, climb up and hand me the goods. Hi, one carton of reds. Hand me a carton of reds, Vito. Bingo. Here it is. Hey, good to see you. I'm all out of smokes. Give me a carton of blues. One carton of blues, Vito. Bingo. Here it is. How you doing? Caught in the blues as usual? I think I'll take the whites this time. You hear that, Vito? Let's go. Caught in the whites. All right. End it over. Thanks, Joe. Now get the hell out of here, will you? Okay, time to go. Get in, Vito. Next stop is Millville. It's going great today. We're making some serious dough here. his dreams. Kid's not even 18 yet. He does jobs for me. Drives me around, makes deliveries, that sort of stuff. Thinks he's a gangster, though. Spends too much damn time at the movies. Well, the kid's got you for a role model. He's in for a lot of trouble. Oh, yeah, wise guy? He reminds me a lot of you when you was his age. Exactly. And I spent two years dodging bullets in Europe and six years in the can since I met you. That's what I mean by trouble. What's the matter? Somebody shitting your coffee this morning? It's like you forgot about all the good times. Yeah. Remind me of those someday, would you? Almost makes up for last night. Almost. Come on, what's better than this? You got fresh air, good company, and you're making a shitload of dough. Not too bad for a guy who just got out of the slam. All right, all right. Listen, the next few hours, or anything like the last few hours, all's forgiven. <laughs> it's the veto I know. All right, we'll be there in a sec. Hey, Joe. 
Welcome, come again. Hi, I'll take a box of reds. Got the reds, Vito. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah. Selling, Mac. You buying or just window shopping? Maybe. We're selling smokes. Two bucks a carton, hundred bucks a crate. I'll make you a deal. You fork over ten cartons, and maybe we'll let you and your buddy get out of here in one piece. Hey, look, pal. How about you get back in your cute little car with your little friends there, and I'll pretend I never seen you. Sound good? <laughs> you don't get it, do you, you fat motherfucker? This is our turf, and it's gonna cost you to operate here. Now pay up. You're the one who doesn't get it. You have any idea who you're talking to? One last chance. You walk away now and... Yeah, I'll tell you who I'm talking to. A fat two-bit fucking Dago door-to-door -door salesman hocking stolen cigarettes on my turf. And it's time to close up shop, asshole. Okay, boys. I think it's time for a fire set. Shit. Joe! Oh, fuck. <laughs> what do you say now, Porky? What do I gotta say? That's what I got. Come on, hop in that car and let's go. All right, let's get one of these fucks and teach them a lesson. Step on it, Vito. He's getting away. I got it floored, Joe. This thing won't go any faster. Check in with Eddie. Stop at the nearest phone booth and call. It's me, Vito. Listen, we got a problem. We were moving the smokes, and then these, uh, these greases came out of nowhere and set the fucking truck on fire. What? You fucking kidding me? You couldn't handle a bunch of grease balls? What the fuck happened? Look, look, Eddie, Eddie, hey, listen, it's not our fault, okay? 
They set the fucking truck on fire before we knew what was happening, and everything burned up. All right, we popped one of the guys, but... What do I fucking care? Just bring me my money. I paid two grand for that truck, and I want it back. Lucky for you two retards, I got Derek's guy Steve here with me. And we were just talking about what to do with those punks. We're gonna take care of them now. Steve will meet you at the Crazy Horse. You know it? Okay. Crazy Horse. Yeah, I know where it is. Steve's gonna have a few guys with him. Show him that nobody fucks with us. No shooting, though, so it looks like just another gang fight. I don't want to read about a bloodbath in the papers tomorrow. All right, sure. Don't worry. We'll take care of it. All right, we gotta meet Steve in front of the crazy horse. Good news is he's gonna help us out. Bad news is Eddie wants his money back. All two grand of it. Shit! You really think we're gonna get two G's out of these guys? What the fuck yeah, are you know, doing? see what Steve's got in mind. You know he ain't doing this out of the kindness of his heart. Let's go. Oh, Eddie was fucking pissed on the phone. Sure he was. Just like I'm pissed right now. Even if these assholes ain't got a dime, I'm gonna kick $2,000 worth of shit out of him. I'm with you. But what's Steve doing working for Eddie? He works for Derek, and Derek's with Vinci's crew. How the hell should I know? But hey, you're still gonna take jobs from Derek, right? Even though you're working for Eddie? We all gotta do what we gotta do to get by. Hey, Steve. Hey. Hey, guys. Artie? What are you doing here? Hey, Joe. I'm going with you on this one. Steve needed help. He said I could come along. Steve, uh, isn't this, Man, uh... Kids gotta learn sometime. Okay. Why are we here, Steve, huh? The guys we're looking for are all headed to the foundry. This is where they usually meet, so we'll start here. Then head over to the foundry to finish the job. And, uh, why'd you volunteer to help us? Those bastards trashed my cousin's car. They robbed him and knocked out three of his teeth. Yeah, those fucking assholes. They make problems all over the city. What'd you Shut say up, today? kid. I'm talking here. So like the Bible says, an eye for an eye, tooth for a tooth. And well, we'll just start with this joint. So what's the plan? First, we're gonna trash this place. And how are we gonna do that? With this. Go ahead, boys. Hey, come on, guys. <laughs> now you can either help us or stay out of our way. <laughs> Let's go teach these fuckers a lesson. <laughs> what the fuck was that? <laughs> That's fucking beautiful!
Okay, that's enough. Let's leave him a little present. Vito, Marty, I got some Molotov cocktails in the trunk. Go get them and throw them in. <laughs> My pleasure, Steve. Now we go to the foundry. Get in, boys. We'll meet you two at the main gate. See you there. How'd you get in here? Follow the fucking yellow brick road. <laughs> Next. Ha, <laughs> nice one. You fuckers are dead. Joe, watch out! <sighs> Thanks, kid. Shit, they got guns! Let them have it! Back me up, Vito! On your bad side. Don't be so gentle, boys. <laughs> <laughs> we just squeeze out of hell. All right, show time, Vito. Gonna leave some for me, That's asshole. The best you got. Let's go. <laughs> Hurry up and kill him. Fuck you! Shit, let's go. I got you covered, Vito. Move. Dead ass white. Come on, let's go. Chop, chop. Going in. All right, Vito, go, go, go. Go round behind. They teach you that in the army? Come out of your hole, you fucking rat.
See Let's you go, Vito. Asshole. Kiss your oh, ass! Goodbye! Go, go, go! We got you covered! You're fucking dead! You're gonna leave something for me, asshole! I'll cut you! Oh, shit! I'm a How about this, asshole? Damn! Alright, Vito, here we go! You okay? Oh, I can't fucking believe it!
me up, Vito. All right, Vito, go, 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 go. Basket. Go! Hurry up and kill him! Listen, this got way out of hand. Eddie's not gonna be too happy. Eddie'll be fine. What are we gonna do, just let him kill us? These fucking dirtbags won't be bothering nobody, no more. What now, Steve? Now I'm gonna go home and see if that castor oil's working. I've been blocked up for weeks. I'll see you later. Joy, Joe and I still got a lot of work to do. We'll catch you later. Shit, where are we gonna get the two Gs for Eddie? You got any idea how much a car like this goes for? Damn, Vito, you're a genius. These babies ain't cheap, right? I bet Derek would give us at least a grand for that one. All right, I gotta drive this baby over to Derek's. I'll meet you back at the fountain. Sounds like a plan. I'll see you at the bar.
This will help you forget all about it. Thanks for the contribution to my retirement fund.
KNR, Empire Central Radio. Hey, kids, coming up, a big block of rock and roll that may or may not feature a traveling guitarist, a flame-throwing piano player, and a kid with one crazy hairdo. And it's all brought to you by the fine folks at Hip In Apparel and their very affordable clothing so you can look slick and smooth when you're in the groove. Gift and apparel, clothing you can depend on. Hey kids, you can also depend on more great music coming up on Empire Central Radio. Looking good. Is the money. Well, that's a fucking relief. Stupid fucking junkies. Now they know their place. Good work, boys. Here's your cat. Thanks, Eddie. So, you need anything else from us today, or is that it? I got something I gotta take care of. No, 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 that's all for today. I'll call you if I need anything. Here is what we have. Whiskey on the rocks, you got it, sir. Come back any time, sir.
Central Radio, this is Rockin' Ricky Fox. And boy, do I got a bone in my teeth. I got a message here to all you square parents out there. Lay off the kids, will you moms and dads? Because apparently, there are some parent groups out there where kids just, just sit around their living rooms, drinking their martinis to see how kooky they can be about teenagers who feel like their kids should be seen and not heard. Well, I, a rockin' Ricky Fox for one, would not have a job if that were the case. I make my living on it. So get on the stick, mommy o and daddy o. The kids are our future. And if these kids aren't heard, then the future will be pretty icky. Not to mention quiet. <laughs> hey, look, I'm sorry if I seem like I'm going a little ape here, but uh, I just hate to see my fans, the kids of America, taking one on the chin. Righteously speaking, this is rockin' Ricky 